Hi, I'm Lee County Sheriff Call My Marcino. May is National Water Safety Month, and we want to give you some tips on how you can stay safe. So this is a standard life jacket, U.S. Coast Guard approved. It's required that you have one life jacket for every person on board of your vessel in the state of Florida. Children under the age of six on a boat that is less than 26 feet are required to wear a life jacket at all times when underway. In 2017, the United States Coast Guard reported 76% of boating deaths were due to drowning and 84% of the victims were not wearing their life jacket. This is a type four throwable PFD in the event that a man goes overboard or you need to offer assistance to someone that is overboard, you can throw this out and offer assistance immediately. These are required by all vessels in the state of Florida to be readily accessible and on board at all times. In the event that you see inclement weather starting to roll in or forming, it's important that you know where your life jackets are and it's a good idea to put them on. It's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. Today I would like to point out the engine cutoff switch or otherwise known as kill switch. The purpose of this switch is to wear when the vessel is in operation and that it will shut the engines off in the event the operator falls or is ejected from the vessel. Per Florida state statute, personal watercraft or otherwise known as PWCs, the operator must wear the engine cutoff switch at all times, either around their wrist or attached to their life jacket or PFD. Another problem we see on the waterways is rip currents. It's important that you do not panic. Remain calm and swim out of the rip current before you tire yourself out. It's important to swim out of the rip current and swim parallel to the shore. Once you feel that you're no longer in the rip current, you can start making your way back to shore at an angle. We want you to have fun, but always remember, safety's number one.